Oh yeah, this is a demo of a programming environment I made for beginners um, that's called uh, CodeLoren. Um, so it's sort of based around animation. So for example, um, we could draw a dot um, that's a circle. Uh, and it's saying to make that circle, then it needs the x coordinate at the center. So we'll go with 100. Uh, and it's saying it needs the y coordinate at the center of the circle, so uh, 100. Uh, and it's saying it needs the width, so we'll go with 30. Uh, and then I can draw that dot, uh, and it appears on the screen down here. Um, now, I, I made this sort of stepping system where you can jump back to the beginning of the program and step through instruction by instruction, and sort of I, I wrote a VM for this language that I made up um, to, to allow that sort of stepping instruction by instruction. And, and I'd intended this to be helpful for debugging. So, for example, let's say I want to set my uh, dot to be uh, red or something. Um, then uh, it doesn't work, and I'm maybe I'm a, uh, maybe I'm confused about what that is. So I can sort of step back and see that um, it actually got drawn um, uh, at this stage, but before it was before the dot was set to red, and, and maybe this helps me understand what my bug is, um, and that I can fix it by just setting the dot to be red first, and, and then it gets drawn as red. Um, and so, so that was the original intention of this of this stepping and. Um, uh, but actually what I found was it was way, way more helpful for, for just understanding for a beginner how the code flows. So if we go back to the beginning again, then just understanding that just for example, code, the, the, the language is executed uh, inside out. So we evaluate the arguments first, these, these three literals, um, and then we look up the definition of the function, uh, and then we call the function, and then for, for an assignment, then, then it actually, the assignment happens right at the end of that line. Um, or we could say that's something a little more complicated. So we've got, a, I don't know, say we're choosing a random color. Um, then we can understand that it's the, uh, the random color function gets looked up and then executed. And then that's the signals the end of the arguments being prepared. And then we, we look up the set function and then finally call it. So, so that was actually really, really helpful for beginners for, for helping them understand how code flows. Um, I'll just show a bit more of the animation stuff. Um, so if we make a forever loop, so this is just something that just goes around forever, so an animation loop basically, um, and we'll set that color to red, um, and then so say I can set up a variable x, um, and that I increment every time through the loop, um, and then I can use that to set the x position of the dot. So I can say something like um, like that. Um, and you can see that the, the dot is sort of notionally moving, but to, but to sort of smearing across the screen. So to solve that, we can just set, you can use clear screen to, uh, to clear away the drawing. Um, uh, a, a, a sort of another thing you can do is sort of, um, you, get, you get some input um, from the user. So for example, instead of, instead of having um, X, then we can set, we can use um, the mouse position. Um, uh, for the x coordinate, so the the dot follow follows the the, the mouse around, um, and then we can do the same for y. Um, so it's kind of really follows it around, and then and then we can remove the clear screen to make the world's worst painting program. So there we are, kind of pretty cool. Um, and then finally, to to make this painting program a little bit less bad, then we can. Um, uh, make it run every time we uh, only 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 we can only draw when 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 we're holding the mouse down. So we can say something like um, um, like that. Um, and so now we can say something like that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.